Hi guys, welcome to what will hopefully be a short and sweet kind of end of the day, unwind, ease into sleepy time sort of practice. So this can be done as a whole sequence or you might find that one or two of these postures or movements really help you if you're having trouble sleeping and you can kind of pick and choose as you like. So we're going to start standing. So I find at the end of the day it's really great even if I feel tired to just get a little movement, just kind of let any excess energy, whether it be physical energy, mental energy, release. So my favorite thing to do for that is empty coat sleeves. So we're going to take a wide stance on the mat, get really, or on the floor, you don't have to have a mat, <laughs> you can just do this on your bedroom floor or something. Um, Feet wider than hips distance. Knees are going to be very soft. We're just going to twist side to side. Now as you twist side to side, lift the opposite heel. And then once you find a good rhythm, just let the arms go. You might give yourself some love taps as you twist. It's all good. So we'll just do a few soft rounds like this. Let the breath be easy and just let the body go. And then start to just kind of slow this down and come back to center. Pause for a moment. You might feel a little bit dizzy. That's okay. I mean, we were just twisting side to side. So just take a few rounds of breath in and out through your nose. Let yourself settle. Now we're going to do one more set of that. You can do your empty coat sleeves that exact same way, or if you're really feeling anxious or you've got a lot of stuff that you're trying to shake off, if you will, uh, we're going to add in a breath. So as we twist to one side, we're going to take a deep inhale through the nose and then let it out through the mouth as we twist to the other. Just before we get going, this can, I mean, obviously we're twisting side to side. This is a very oxygenating breath. So if you find that you feel uncomfortably dizzy, let the breath go, come back into the empty coat sleeves, or just pause in stillness. So you can tailor this to what works for you. You can play with speed. You can split, play with, you can splay, yeah? <laughs> you can play with intensity, um, just as a little caveat before we, disclaimer, as we get going. So. Again, really soft knees. We're going to lift opposite heel and begin. So keep going with that breath if it suits you. This is a really great thing also to do first thing in the morning to kind of get everything going. Um, and a nice thing to do throughout the day, especially I find this is great if I'm frustrated so you know I don't take it out on anybody else <laughs> I can just do a few rounds of this breath and have imagine all that stuff being flung away from me so a few more rounds beautiful now start to slow it down let the breath relax, come back to center. And again, just take a moment. You can close your eyes if that's all right for you or keep them open. Let the breath be smooth and even and just kind of watch all of that energy settle and dissipate through the body. If you feel uncomfortably dizzy, bring your attention to your feet. And then when you feel settled, let your eyes open and we'll continue on. So now I'm just going to turn to the side so you can see what I'm doing. So we're going to start just with some sun breath. So inhale, reach your arms up overhead. Exhale, bring them back down. Now with this, try to Take the entire length of your inhale to reach your arms up. There's no rush. There's nowhere you need to get to. Entire exhale brings the arms down. Let the breath be long. 
slow, luxurious. Beautiful. So now we're going to add on. Inhale, arms up. Moving at the same pace. Exhale this time. Bend the knees a lot and dive forward. We're going to pause here in this forward fold. So I recommend don't worry about folding in half here. Don't worry too much about the hamstrings. Let this forward fold be about the spine and the head. So you may even like to bring the body to the thighs. So bend the knees enough to bring the body to the thighs, coming into standing child's pose. And breathe fully. I like to kind of imagine gravity, my, my head just kind of opening up and gravity taking anything I don't need to go to sleep with. Letting any mess of the day spill out of my head. I can pick it up in the morning if I want. Beautiful. On your next inhale, lift up halfway flat back. Exhale, dive back down again. Bend your knees, bring your hands to the mat, and step back one foot at a time into downward facing dog. I'm not going to go too deeply into the alignment of down dog. Let this be a soft and relaxed down dog, bent into the knees. Spread the fingers wide, press the floor away. And then on your next inhale, bring the knees gently to the floor. Let the belly drop, lift the shoulders, the hips, and the head, cow's breath. Uncurl your toes and exhale, sink back to child's pose. Keep your hands where they are. So this is a little bit more of an active child's pose. And then inhale, slowly roll up. Let the belly drop, cow's breath. Curl your toes under, press back, downward facing dog. Same slow pace we played with before. Inhale, knees to the floor, cow's breath. Uncurl toes, sink the hips, child's pose. Inhale, cow's breath. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, cow's breath. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, cow's breath. Exhale, downward facing dog. We're going to take three rounds of breath here. So forward folds, downward facing dog. These are all inversions, getting the head below the heart. Really great thing to practice at the end of the day. Very calming. Beautiful. And then one more time. Inhale, bring the knees to the floor. Exhale, child's pose. And now again, we're going to pause here in child's pose. Now you can soften it up. Scoot the hips back towards the heels. Let the forehead melt towards the floor. I like to bring hands. Stacked hands or fists under the forehead for a little extra support. And take long, deep breaths. Imagine the breath moving into the back body. Again, beautiful pra uh, posture to practice at the end of the day. Very grounding, calming. One more breath here. And then on your next inhale, gently bring the hands to either side. Use your arms to help press yourself up. Let the head be the last thing to lift. Give the shoulders a little roll, shake it out. Okay, so before our final posture, I would like to offer you a breathing practice, and this can be really helpful for calming anxiety, um, releasing insomnia, just kind of balancing out and getting a little bit more even keeled, and that is Nadi Shodhana. I have a more in-depth video on this breath with instructions and all of the benefits of this breath and different variations that you can play with. I will link below. 
So I'm just going to lead it really quickly um, to, you know, again, try to keep this a little bit more succinct. But if you want more information, I will link that video below. To take a comfortable seat, feel free to lean gently against the wall or your pillows. Bring your right hand into Vishnu Mudra. Um, peace fingers go down to the palm, thumb to the right nostril, pink, uh, ring finger to the left. Let the eyes close. At the bottom of your next exhale, gently close off the right nostril. Inhale through the left. Gently close off the left nostril, open up the right and exhale. Inhale through the right. Gently switch and exhale through left nostril. Inhale. Switch and exhale. Inhale. Switch and exhale. Take a few more rounds following your own breath, your own rhythm. Continue to practice guiding the mind back to the present moment, to the breath, anytime it wanders. Now the next time you exhale out through the left nostril, let that be the last Nadi Shodhana. Release the right hand from your nostril. Take a deep breath into both nostrils. Let it out through the mouth. Beautiful, so now we're gonna lay down and you can actually do this pose. I like to do this pose in bed right before I go to sleep. Um, or you can stay where you are, it's totally up to you. So we're gonna lay down. You can hug the knees in towards the chest, maybe rock a little side to side. And then lift the legs up towards the ceiling, coming into legs up the wall pose. Now, of course, you could do this um, against a wall. You can also just do this on the floor, or like I said, in your bed. And try here to let the breath become just a little bit slower, a little bit deeper. You don't need to effort or work too hard with the breath. Just naturally see if you can slow it down. And really start to practice focusing and refocusing your attention on your breath. mind may really want to wander and it might be very tempting to just let it go but to help you get to sleep really practice keeping your attention bringing your attention back to the breath when you notice it wander you don't have to judge or yell at yourself yell at your brain for wandering or being wide awake <laughs> when it maybe doesn't need to be just practice bringing your attention back. Now you might find that the legs get a little tingly, a little nummy, uh, interesting sensations going on. Feel free to move the legs around, bend the knees, move slow, keep that same pace. You can always bring the feet back to the floor anytime. This is a great pose, not only for the end of the day, but for the circulation in your legs. So, you know, if, if the weather is cool, um, this is a good po pose to practice. This is good for varicose veins, or if you do a lot of um, physical activity with your legs, like bike riding or running, this is a really nice way to just give the legs a little love. So we'll take a few more rounds here. So 
the last couple breaths. If you like, you can even lift your arms up like a dead bug. Sexy name, but <laughs> it's a good pose. Again, nice uh, for the circulation in your arms. And you can even just kind of shake the arms and legs out. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale. Let the arms, the legs come down to the floor. You can stretch the legs out. If you're in bed, you can just kind of uh, settle into sleep. If you are not in bed and you need to move, bring the knees in towards your chest. Give them a little hug. And then roll over onto one side. Bring the top hand to the floor in front of you and use your arms to press yourself up. See if you can let the head be the last thing to rest. And we'll just pause for a moment, sitting up tall and straight. So I wanna thank you very much for joining me in this practice. I would love um, to hear your thoughts. If you tried this and it helped you or it didn't <laughs> let me know and also feel free to leave below any um, of your own tips um, tricks for helping get to sleep helping to relax and let go uh, and until next time namaste <laughs>